I hope you guys had a good day. Today we will be reading a book called Asia Mama Alama, and this book is based off of a lot of rhyming. And before we read, we will go over some vocabulary so you are able to understand the book better. Today we will be chopping up words, which means to break a word into different segments so you guys are able to read it better and understand how to pronounce the word without help. So the first word we'll be going over is the word politely. As you can see, there are lines under each word. Every time there's a line, that, that means that it's being chopped up. So for example, politely makes politely. And this word means to say or do something in a kind way. Kind can be something that's nice. It can be saying thank you, please, I'm sorry, or excuse me when needed. The next word would be g raise, which means graze. And this means to eat grass. As you can see, there are sheep and cows grazing from the pictures. The next word has two words. Um, the first word is respond. The second one is reply. These two words both mean to answer. So for example, if someone is talking to you and asks you a question, you are going to respond or reply. During the story, you'll see that one character will be asking a question and the other character would either respond or reply. The next word would be hind, which makes the word hind. It means the back of an animal's body. From this picture, the hind legs are right here from the dog. As for the reindeer, the hind legs are over here. Next word is the word herd. Herd, a large group of animals. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to read the story. Is your mama a llama written by Deborah Garino, illustrated by Stephen Kellogg? While I'm reading, I want you guys to focus on listening to the rhyming words and also to listen to the descriptive way that they describe each animal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I say, you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddy said. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I say, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a swan. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a cow. Moo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas quite act in this way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't... So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a K. 
kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh Lord, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur, and you, out of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, cause you are one too. Yes, you are right. I said to my friend, "My mama's a what is she?" Everyone, llama. And this is the end. All right. So that was the end of the story. Now it's time for some questionings. The first question that I have is, who was the baby mama looking for? Is it a her friend? B her mama llama or C her papa llama. I'll give you guys a few seconds to figure it out. The answer should be. B, her mama llama. If you got that, give yourself a clap, clap, clap. That's a good job to you. The second question: Who hangs by their feet? Now, before I told you to listen carefully to characteristics, if you can remember, you'll be able to get this question right. If not, it's okay because we are still trying. The first answer is the bat, the duck, or the cow. Give you a few seconds. Figure it out. Okay, let's go over it. The answer should be the bat. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the bat. The next question is, where does the bat live? Is it the cave, the lake, or the fields? Give you a few minutes. Okay, and now let's go over it. The answer should be the cave. If you got that, stomp your feet. Good job to you. The reason why is when she said she hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. So bats live in the cave and hang on their feet. The next question is who has a long neck? White feathers and wings. Is it the cow, the bat, or the swan? Give you a few minutes to figure that out. All right, let's go over it. The answer should be the swan. If you got that right, snap, snap, snap. Good job to you. As you can see, it has a long neck. It has white feathers and wings. Now this question is kind of tricky. It says, "How many animals did Llama ask for her mama?" So let's try to think about it. Is it a Four animals, which includes the bat, the cow, the swan, kangaroo, or B. There are five animals, which include the bat, cow, swan, kangaroo, and seal. Or C. Six animals, which include the bat, swan, cow, seal, kangaroo, and llama.
Okay, let's go over it. The answer should be C, six animals. And this is where I will explain. The first one would be the bat that she asked for her mama. Second one is the swan. The third one was the cow. The fourth one was the seal. The fifth one was the kangaroo. And the last one was the llama. So she asked one of the friends from the herd if her mama was there. And that's why there are six. All right, so if you like this story, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. It's okay. See you next time and stay safe.